Hey everybody, this is Brent Coley, and in this video I'm going to show you how I created an online staff handbook for my teachers and staff. What you see on the screen here we call The Hub, and it is a one-page Google Doc that, as you can see here, is full of hyperlinks to other Google Docs or Google Sheets, some external websites or PDFs. This has been an absolute game changer for me because everything that my staff needs, I have put on the hub. And if I need to make changes, I make it in the Google Doc or in the corresponding or the, the, the connected Google Docs or Google Sheets. And the beauty of Google Drive is everything is instantly live and available to my staff. When we had our old staff handbook in Microsoft Word, uh, first of all, it was an 84-page document, which was very long, but any time I had to make a change, I then had to save it as a Word doc, resave it as a PDF, send it on out to my staff, re-upload it to the website. It was a major pain. The hub has been a game changer. So let me show you how I created it. So if I went to just a blank Google Doc like you see here, the first thing that I did, while this may look like a web page with a bunch of links, it's just a simple Google Doc with a table with the backgrounds of each cell shaded a different color. So I'm going to go to the insert table and I mine happens to be a three by four table so I'm going to go ahead and insert that table there. And then what I did was I shaded the background of each uh, cell a different color just to give it a little fresh look and to differentiate each category because what I did you can see back here on the hub is uh, excuse me I organized each of the links into categories to make it easier for the teachers to see so to shade the background of the table you simply go into the cell go up to the background color button and select the color that you want so I made that one yellow my middle one was green, like so on. So I've gone ahead and shaded in the rest of the cells and going back you can see that it matches. Obviously I have text here, but now the cells are all this different color. Next thing was I went ahead and typed in, let's make all of these centered, and I just typed in headers for each of the cells. Just again, to try to make it easier for my staff to find things. So for example, I had faculty information. So I have gone ahead and I have added the other headers, the titles for each uh, cell, each category. And again, you could make these whatever is going to work for your school. These are the headers that I have used for my school. So then what you would want to do is you would want to go ahead and add um, the different links. So I'm going to make just a little room here. And you would want to add the different um, files that you're going to include in your hub or your handbook. So you can see back here if I scroll up that these are the types of things that I have put. So let's say, for example, I want to put under the calendar section, I'm going to go ahead and make this left justified, and I'm going to make it a bullet point. And what I want to do is I usually try to move this over to give myself as much room as possible. And let's say I'm going to include back to school night, whoops, back to night and open house dates okay and what I did is again I had an 84 page word doc so what I ended up doing was just copying over each section of the handbook I copied it and created a new Google Doc or Google spreadsheet so let me show you kind of how I did that if I go back to my handbook you can see here, here is the page of, that had my old back to school night and open house information. So what I did is I just went and I copied all of this information, control C or command C, I copied that. And then I went to and I created a new Google Doc. 
So I'm going to go ahead and create a new Google Doc here. And I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, Back to School. Whoops. We'll call it Back to School Night and Oh, I'm having trouble typing there. And open house info. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste what I had previously copied in from my Word document. So you can see there's all the information. The pictures didn't come in quite perfectly. And that's something that I had to do was kind of tweak the formatting in a little bit because it doesn't always transfer perfectly. But hey, I didn't have to retype everything. Now you can enter it manually, but if you already have the info, just copy and paste it back in. Then what I want to do is I want to get the link for this Google Doc and I want to make it a hyperlink right here. So I'm going to go back to the new doc I created. I'm going to click the share button and I'm going to get a shareable link. Now I don't want teachers or staff to be able to edit this. I just want them to be able to view the information. Now I could give edit access to my assistant principal or principal or secretary but for the purposes of this, I just want them to be able to see the page and not necessarily change it. So I want this one. Anyone with the link can view. Not edit, just view. So I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to go back to my hub, which is what I'm calling it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to make this a hyperlink by clicking. Let's get rid of that. By clicking the insert link button and then pasting in what I had copied from the doc. And voila, there you go. So that is how I created, once again, it took me some time to make all of these, but in the end, everything is perfect. Because once again, let's say I had to make a change. Let's say, obviously the dates are wrong here. Let's say I made this 16, 17, and I went down and I know that this year, the date for this is the 18th of 2016. Now you can look right up here, saving all changes saved. Here's the beauty of the hub. Anytime a change is made, it's automatically live and available to anyone who is viewing the page. No longer have to send out an updated copy and have people worrying about, do I have the most updated version? So what I did with this, once again, here again, this is the sample, but here is mine. What I would do is I just went up and shared this link with my teacher. So in this example here, when I was done and I was ready, I went up to share. I got the shareable link again. I did not want them to edit it. I just wanted them to be able to view it. So I got the can view and I copied that link. And what I would then view, do is I took that link and I emailed it to my teachers and my staff. So what they could do is they could save that link on their desktop of their computers. They could save that link on their phone because the beauty of Google is, again, all of this is available on mobile devices. And the number of times that I have looked things up while on the playground or in front of the school has been, I mean, countless times I have done that. So that is how we created the Hub, an online handbook in Google Drive. I highly encourage you to give it a shot yourself. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at Brent Coley or my website at brentcoley.com.